Hello and welcome. My name is Joan Bassett and I'm here to show you how to attach a square end binding to your quilt. We, st we start by cutting your strips for your binding two and a half inches by the width of the fabric. Fold it in half lengthwise, wrong sides together, and press. We're going to attach the binding to two opposite sides first. We do that by laying the binding on top of the quilt, matching the raw edges, and using a quarter inch seam allowance. Sew that to your quilt, making sure that your binding extends past the quilt by at least an inch on both ends. The reason for that is, when you cut the binding the same size as the quilt and attach it and fold it back, it tends to want to bow in on the ends. Once you've attached your binding, you press it by folding the binding back over the stitching and press. Now we need to trim it, so you take your acrylic ruler, line it up with the edge of your quilt, and trim the binding. We'll do this on both ends, like so. Now we need to attach the remaining two sides. To do that, you take your binding, Lay it with the raw edges matching and extending past your first binding that you attached by at least an inch on both ends. Using a quarter inch seam, sew that on, press it back over the fold. Now to trim this last binding, you would take your ruler and line it up with the first binding. And trim, making sure that you don't cut the edge of the fold on the first binding. To finish the binding, you need to fold back the binding to the back and applique stitch it to the backing. You'll do that to the first two attached bindings first. The reason for that is you fold back the first binding and when you fold back the second binding it encloses that raw edge. Here's the raw edge, here's the second binding, and you have a clean finish. Thank you for joining me and I'm hoping this is helpful and you'll get to try it soon.